Hey, my name is Nathan Stanley, and I grew up in a Christian home, so I got saved at a young age. Even though I grew up in a Christian home and I spent my whole life around Christians, um, my dad and mom, they had some struggles. They had a hard time, and my dad ended up cheating on my mom twice. And uh, in that time, you know, I, there was a lot of forgiveness that had to happen and things like that. But my mom and dad went through counseling, and they went through forgiveness, and they went through healing. And, and they ended up rectifying their marriage, and, and they have a beautiful, beautiful marriage and a beautiful relationship now. And my dad is actually a senior pastor of a church now. Uh, but however, even though they went through all that, I, I said that I forgave my dad. But in, in all reality, when I became a teenager, I, real, I began to show roots of bitterness and resentment and, and rebellion. So it became very, very apparent that I hadn't forgiven finished the forgiveness process. I had started it, but I hadn't finished it. So when I was 18 years old, I actually, it was two months before my graduation, I said, Jesus, I need you to come into my life. I need you, I know you've saved me. I know you're coming into my life, but I need you to transform it. I need you to be Lord of my life. I need you to take over. And so at that point, he took over my life, which was trashed. It was messed up. And, and he made it something that's worthwhile and worthy and wonderful. And a few years later, I actually ended up going to um, YOM DTS, or Youth with Emissions Discipleship School, Training School. And I went there because I felt the call of, of ministry. I felt like God was calling me to the ministry of some sort. And I thought, well, maybe being a missionary would be what he's calling me to do because I've always been fascinated with different cultures and different places. And uh, I went through that process, and I went through the training, and, and it was a wonderful, wonderful experience, a wonderful time where it transformed my life, and it transformed my outlook on, on things. Um, and then the following year, I went to Algeria, and I actually got had the opportunity to be a part of an Easter service there. I got to help plan it, set it up, lead worship during it, and it was aired on Algerian TV. And we were working with a whole bunch of refugees at the time. And one of the things that we were doing in the refugee camps was just in a practical way, we were putting internet in, satellite internet in for them so that they could have the opportunity to converse with the outside world. Um, and then another thing we got the I got the opportunity to do while I was there was work with Franklin Graham's Operation Christmas Child. And I got to hand out the boxes to the kids that were there. And that was that was a really, really neat experience. I also worked with a marathon that was there. It was, it was, it was an amazing, amazing time. And I was there for six weeks, but it felt more like, like the amount of stuff we did just felt more like six months. And it was just an amazing experience. Well, after that, during that experience, I kind of felt... I began to go, God, what, what do you really want from me? Is this what you want? Is this where you've called me to? And I really felt like that God said, you know what, Nathan, I want you to go back to the United States. I want you to put in the, into the United States of America, into people in there, into the churches there, just your passion, your love for me and your love for, for other cultures and your love for other people and to raise up missionaries and to raise up people who just adore me and love me and, and will use their lives to, uh, to glorify my name. And so I did. Um, I about ten years ago I became I got married, and right around that time I actually took over the youth group at the church I was going going to because the uh, youth leader stepped down just just pretty much instant just randomly stepped down one day, and so I took it over and I, I led it and I actually took it was a volunteer position, and raised it up into a part time job first and so for about two years it was a part time job and then. Um, after that, for four years, it was a full-time job for me. And then I just felt the call of God to, to begin, begin to move somewhere else. And, and that God brought me up to Maryland. And, and while I was being in Maryland, I've been in Maryland for two and a half years. I've really just just um, been a youth pastor, a full-time student, student pastor, and just loving on kids. And I, I really feel like that God has called me to be a pastor to a generation of people um, and their families. And so I just really have felt the call recently to begin to to seek and see what God God is calling me to in the next phase of my life. There's just there's just this sense that God's calling me somewhere else. So um, yeah, that's pretty much my story. Uh, it was great just spending this time just talking talking to you th um, through technology. And I just really pray that God would bless you and that He would He would use you and He would use your use your church and and use your heart. And I pray that you would pray the same for me. Thank you.